Right, so lads, this is to investigate the variation of the resistance of a thermistor with temperature. Okay, so this is our thermistor. We have it again in glycerol. Okay, so it's in oil. The thermistor is coming down there, and then we have the temperature, the thermometer going in down beside it. So we're measuring the temperature of the glycerol, um, which is surrounding the thermistor. And um, we're going to heat up the water, which will heat up the glycerol, and we're just going to do it slowly. Um, so our first temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it's stable in there at 20 degrees at the moment. First thing we need to do is measure the internal resistance of our ohm meter. So what are we getting on that there? Our internal resistance is 1.6 ohms. So that's the internal resistance of the ohm meter. Now I'm going to connect this to the thermistor and we'll see what is it measuring now. So the resistance at 20 degrees is 5.6 ohms. So what's the actual resistance is 4 ohms. Okay, so now we're going to start heating up this by about 10 degrees each time. We're going to heat it up slowly and measure the resistance every 10 degrees. All right, so we're at 30 degrees now. What we do is we're going to take this out and just leave it out in the water for a few seconds so that it's not heating up anymore and just let the te temperature stabilize. So it's actually continuing to rise here now. It's at 31.5. So what's the resistance there now? 3.6. Okay, so measured resistance is 3.6 ohms and the temperature was 31.5 degrees Celsius. So what's the actual resistance? Actual resistance there is 2 ohms. Okay, so I'm going to put it back into the water bath and we'll let it go up another 10 degrees or so. We don't need to get it exactly 10, 20, 30, 40. So, so long as we have a reading in and around it, you're still going to get the points at similar intervals. Okay. So we're going to wait till it gets up to about 40 now. So, right. So we're coming up on 40 degrees now. So I'm just going to take it out and let it settle there for a few seconds. 43.5 degrees. What's the resistance? Oh yeah, 2.3. So 2.3 ohms. The temperature was. 42.5 degrees. All right, so we're going to take it out now again. We're coming up on 50 degrees. We're going to give it a bit of time to slow down. So it's gone above 50 there now. So 55 degrees. So what is the resistance there now? 1.72. And the temperature is 54.5. Okay, so. Uh, to analyze the results of the variation of the resistance of a thermistor, uh, then we have our points here at 20 degrees, we had a resistance of 4, at 31.5 degrees a, re a resistance of 2 ohms, at 43.5 degrees we had a resistance of 0 0.7 ohms, and at 54.5 degrees we had a resistance of 0 0.12 ohms. We weren't able to go any further than that, the resistance of, of that thermistor at a minimum at around about that temperature. Do. So uh, plotting these points there, we have uh, 20 degrees and four ohms. We have two um, ohms at 31.5 degrees. Um, at 43.5 degrees, we had 0 0.7 ohms. And at 54.5 degrees, we had 0 0.12 ohms. So you can see that this is a non-linear relationship um, and that the uh, resistance is decreasing rapidly as temperature increases. So starting here, it decreases very rapidly initially, and then it slows down and it's coming towards a limit. It will continue on down that way. Um, the resistance will just decrease a little bit more as the temperature increases there. If we were to cool this thermistor down, um, the resistance would then increase dramatically and it would continue on even beyond zero degrees Celsius, um, the resistance would increase dramatically um, and it could, for this semester, could go up into the hundreds of ohms.